Hello, my name is Doug Eastman Condry Corporation, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how Synergy can be used to seamlessly migrate user home directories. So for this demo, the scenario is I have some users' home directories on a Windows 2008 R2 server. So I'm going to remote out to that server, and let's take a look at that. So on this server, there's a Greenville share and under there there's Greenville users and this is where all the home directories are located notice that each home directory and we've got some files in there notice the uh, the different metadata on these files for the dates I have some for example going back to 2006 so we want to be sure to maintain this during the migration we want to maintain ownership as well as permissions uh, once we migrate now we're actually going to be migrating to a Windows 2012 R2 server and so what I have set up is under on this server there's a Greenville users share and notice that the home folder area is empty so since I have Synergy installed the, the existing Greenville home folders are being managed by this policy and you'll notice that this is the Windows 2008 R2 server which is CC Tech uh, dash SRV so these users home directories are currently being managed by this policy so the first thing I want to do is let's do a consistency check using Synergy and we'll take a look at the current settings so when I run this and expand it what we're going to see is these home directories are all being managed by Synergy we've got our rights based on the policy our quota settings and the DS pass setting represents the home directory attribute in Active Directory and you'll notice that each one of these are set to the Windows 2008 uh, R2 server so what I'm going to do is let's take a look at the policy so for the Greenville employees this policy is associated with the Greenville employees container and then the um, the path is set to Greenville users so to do the migration what I'm going to do is remove this path and simply change it to point to the new location where I want to migrate the home folders so that's going to be under the Greenville users home share location go ahead and apply that now let's switch back over to our storage management and this time my user action is going to be to perform an enforce policy path so what this is going to do is going to notice that the policy path is changed and it's going to kick off the migration of the home folders now if you have a lot of data you can actually do pre-staging of that data for the migration and then come back and make another run if you have users with an excessive amount of data in their home directories now I can run this in check mode and it will go out and verify and that each user has a policy and that there are no issues with that so if I expand this I can see that everything looks okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take check mode off and let's go ahead and start the migration so it's going to move the data based on the new policy path so I'll just minimize this and let's take a look at the events that have been queued up for Synergy so you can see that it's copying the data and it's queuing each one of these up so there's 32 eligible and each one of those go on the queue and it's going to copy the data now while the data is being copied we actually rename the uh, proxy the home directory attribute so that if a user tries to log in they'll get a message that their home directory is in the process of being moved and then uh, once it gets moved we reset it back to the new attribute location based on the migration let's go ahead and do a refresh okay so we're uh, during the migration we we set the trustees uh, and then we clean up the source once everything's migrated so you can see the different states that we're in right now during this migration now we're doing uh, doing down to the last couple that we're migrating okay now that we're completed with the migration let's go out and look on the Windows 2008 R2 server and under Greenville you'll notice here are the home directories notice that we've maintained the metadata okay and we've also maintained ownership so if I take a look at this the properties here on security 
we'll see that Andy is inheriting rights as the as uh, for the home directory. But you'll also notice that we've retained that ownership as well for each all of the files for all the users. Okay, now let's and that that's the case for all the users that were migrated. Now, if I switch out and remote back over into my 2008 server, what we'll notice is that once the migration was complete, we went ahead and cleaned up the source. And now let's go in and do another consistency check on these users. So I'll do a consistency check. And once this completes, I'll go ahead and expand this. Notice that the home directory has now been migrated to Windows 2012 R2. And if I go ahead and look at the statistics on this, I've got all my rights consistent. My quota is consistent based on the policy. And you can see 100% of the users of these 33 that I migrated have now been moved to Greenville. Another thing I'll, we'll, we'll take a look at uh, is the, the actual home directory attribute for each one of these users. For example, Andy here, the home directory profile path was changed to the new location once the migration was complete. So this is an example of how you can leverage Synergy to migrate users' home, grow, home directory seamlessly from one operating system in this example uh, at, during the migration to Windows 2012 R2. You can get more information on Synergy by visiting condricorp.com forward slash Synergy. And if you would like to request a quote, please email sales at condricorp.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.